Raider Nation, what's going on? This is the Raiders Report. My name is Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365. Awesome. Awesome to see some Raiders highlights. Am I right? Raider Rats look pretty good too. The first bit of news I got for you guys coming up on the board. Donald Penn activated from the PUP. This is good news for me. He's this guy that I've been talking about a bunch on this show. So, a busy week for Donald Penn after accepting a new contract restructure. Penn was activated off the physically unable to perform list and will participate in the team's practice today. Penn has been dealing with a foot injury that caused him to miss the final two games of the season last year and all off-season workouts. Raider Nation, what's going on? My name is Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365. And don't be afraid to subscribe to the Oakland Raiders Report on YouTube, the number one Raiders show on YouTube. Humble brag there. Okay, Harris, let's get to some more Raiders news. The one I got coming up on the board, Gary on Conley returns to practice. And, well, this is awesome news because Gary on Conley is one of my breakouts this year. Awesome news, Raider Nation. Gary on Conley returned to practice on Monday, his first full workout since suffering a hip strain during the team's first training camp practice on July 27th. Yeah, it's great to see on Gruden said after practice, he's healed quicker than anybody expected. It's a credit to him and our training staff. We need him to get some work. Conley and Daryl Worley initially split reps at right cornerback with the first team defense. Think about this though. It was Conley's first fully padded practice since last season. Baby steps, people. Baby steps. The next news I got for you guys, Connor Cook, well, he got the hook at practice uh, yesterday. So this one's pretty interesting. Gruden did not appreciate the first bad pass Connor Cook threw Monday at practice. He didn't like it at all. The football skidded off the practice field, bouncing a few rows up into the empty bleachers. Toward the end of practice, Cook grimaced when he muffed a red zone snap from under center. It's like he knew what was coming next, the hook. He got the hook. Early this offseason, the Raiders opened their number two quarterback spot to competition. Cook appeared to solidify the upper hand during Friday's 16-10 exhibition win over the Lions as he demonstrated poise and confidence when guiding a pair of second-quarter score drives. But he has yet to show true consistency. Cook is 25. He handled the bulk of the second-team reps on Monday. This, But is this going to be the case after getting the hook at practice? Raider Nation, what's going on? This is Raiders Report. My name's Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. Those are my news. Now I'm going to get into some rumors. And for people who are new to the Raiders show, I want to break down my Raiders rumors scale. And for the guys who like the Chucky Heads, well, zero Chucky Heads, tuck rule, tuck that, not going to happen. One Chucky Heads, small shred of truth. I like to think 25% chance. Two Chucky Heads, people are talking, 50-50. Three Chucky Heads, pretty likely, 75% chance. Four Chucky Heads, Believe it, baby. This rumor is 100% going to happen. First rumor I got coming up on the board. Donald Penn is going to play right tackle. I'm giving this one two Chucky heads. People are talking. Now, with a guy like Penn, right, there's been uh, a lot of controversy over whether or not he's going to play right tackle or left. But I think this you can call this a little bit less than a coincidence. But after the day Penn took a pay cut from the Raiders, he returned to practice coming off the PUP list. Colt Meller then was working at the left tackle and Penn was working at the right tackle. This is an interesting lineup. The writers like Colt Miller as the long-term answer at left tackle, but throughout the offseason program, it was Penn who was lined up at left tackle in walkthroughs, even though Penn wouldn't practice with the surgically repaired foot. But I want to know from you guys, Raider Nation, who will start at left tackle for the Raiders week one of the regular season? If you think it's going to be Colt Miller, give me a heart. If you think it's going to be Donald Penn, give me a thumbs up. I'm putting my money on Donald Penn. Thumbs up, Raider Nation. Next room I got for you guys coming up on the board is Derek Carr, a fantasy sleeper. I'm giving this one four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. I love me some Derek Carr, and there's for plenty, plenty good reason in terms of Derek Carr, right? Like, Derek Carr is one of those guys who is super, super talented, and this is one of those things ultimately like I started the new show called Fantasy Football AF, and much like our sponsor, Miz and the Main, shout out to them. They're lit AF as well, right? But let's not forget how amazing Derek Carr was before his 2016 injury. The dude was an MVP candidate, 60 touchdowns, 19 interceptions combined in 2015 and 2016. And then they added a ton of offensive weapons this offseason. So I like what Derek Carr's been doing. And they, when you go back and just look at overall, like his touchdown years, like Derek Carr was a guy in 2015, 32 touchdowns, 2016, 28 touchdowns. I get it. Last year was a bit of a down year, but a four-year average of 25 touchdowns, Basically, if you round up 26, that's not so bad. So for a guy like Derek Carr, 
Do I think he's going to be a fantasy football sleeper? Yeah, I 100% do because there's no doubt in my mind that Carr is going to throw a bunch of touchdowns. So, Raider Nation, I would like to know from you guys, though, over or under, over or under passing touchdowns for Derek Carr in 2018. Give me a heart for over or a like for under 26 and a half passing touchdowns for Derek Carr in 2018. Next room I got for you guys coming on the board, are the Raiders going to cut running back DeAndre Washington? Man, I've been talking about this one a bunch, haven't I? And it's for a good reason. And I'm going to give this one three Chucky heads pretty likely. Now, the Raiders have a ton of running backs in the stable, and Lynch had a 60-yard touchdown called back on Friday. The Raiders pulled him, and the rest of the game belonged to the backups, as the Raiders shared the wealth with the entire running back group. Doug Martin got only one carry, but he is expected to be the number two this season, unless one of the younger guys can wrestle the job from him. And someone that looked really good against Detroit, one player, that was Chris Warren, who followed up with some solid joint practice against the, over against the Lions, performed in a big way in the preseason. Warren nearly racked up 90 yards, 86 to be exact, on 13 carries, showing a nice blend of speed and power as he looks to shock the people on this roster. Now, I want to show you guys the Raiders running back depth chart. I know I showed this last week, but I think it's important to show it again. Chris Warren is right now listed as the RB4 on this roster above a guy like DeAndre Washington. They're trying to get Jalen Richard work in there because he's a pass catcher and works really well with a guy like Marshawn Lynch. But if Warren keeps running the way that he did last week, it might be DeAndre Washington getting the hook. Raider Nation, the next rumor I got for you guys coming up. Are the Raiders going to re-sign Khalil Mack? You're going to have to find out after a word from our sponsor, Miz and Amain. Is Oakland close to signing Khalil Mack? I'm going to give this one two Chucky heads. People are talking. And well, Raider Nation, the nightmare may be over soon because, man, I'm telling you what I really hope. Right? So the Raiders defensive end Khalil Mack and Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald have both been stalling and signing their respective contract extensions, each waiting for the other to blink first. But now it appears that Donald Penn will receive the quarterback level money he's been seeking and is going to be reportedly announced soon. Right? So the Rams and... Aaron Donald are expected to come to an agreement on a massive deal that would pay Donald $24 million a year with guarantees in the 65 to 70 million range later this week. In comparison, a guy like Von Miller is making only 17 million per year. Just something to think about. Are the Raiders going to resign him? I don't know, right? All right, next room I got for you guys coming up on the board. Khalil Mack wants $25 million a year. Another one, two Chucky heads. People are talking and well, Spoiler alert, this is going to be the Mac attack section, right? So, that's a lot of Big Macs. We heard last week from Michael Lombardi that Khalil Mack was seeking $22 million a year, and this would make that a bargain if Donald does sign a contract for $24 million a year. It could push the framework of a potential Mac deal into the $25 million per year range. This, which is about what Raiders quarterbacks Derek Carr is currently making. The NFL salary cap currently sits at $177.2 million, up from $167 million last year. That number should keep going up, but if the Raiders and Mack agree to a deal now, that will be paying him and Carr combined almost a full third of the salary cap. That's a steep price to pay, even if Mack is the best defensive player in the NFL. So, Raider Nation, I want to know from you guys, true or false, Khalil Mack is worth $25 million a year. Give me a heart if you think he is. That's true. If you don't think he is, give me a thumbs up for false. That is one hell of a question. Am I right? Next rumor I got for you guys coming up on the board is Khalil Mack going to the Packers. And I saw this rumor, and I'm giving this one, well, two Chucky heads. People are talking. BetDSI released their latest odds on who is the most likely to the trade and successfully land Mack. The Green Bay Packers are the favorites to work out a trade for Mack before the 2018 NFL trade deadline. You can check out the full list of odds, including where the potential for the Giants and Jets deals exist. But what I have up there, the Jets, Bills, and Redskins all have 7-1 to one odds, and the Packers are actually ahead of the Raiders. The Packers are at 3-1 to one odds, and then the Raiders, guys, they were at 4-1 to one odds. I don't know. It scares me a little bit. Raider Nation, what's going on? This is the Raiders Report. My name is Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365, and please, please, please subscribe to the Raiders Report on YouTube. I would definitely greatly appreciate that.